There you go. We're, we're streaming right now. Hi, folks. All right. Yeah, so, I, was, kind of, I was communicating with this guy who's in Santa Domingo today. He's going to watch. Sweet. Please just start live streaming. It's a great thing about live streaming is you get to meet people from all over the world. It's so incredibly exciting. And you can actually, I've actually was able to save people from getting arrested through the use of live streaming. Yeah, tell me about that. Yeah, in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. You can log in. I don't know. Well, you were able to log in. Okay. Woo! Sounds like it's in. Uh, so we're going to have to uh, move a little bit. This isn't going to work as an angle because of the lighting. Because you know phones don't have really great lighting. Yeah. Hey girl! Full faith in your abilities there, Right. So we had one viewer there for about five seconds. Where are the cables, you guys? Not live. Okay. Where are the cables? A lot of people are too, like, they should turn it off. Yeah. They're doing live streams because what happens is that when they start doing it, they pay too much attention to their account. Yeah, I agree. You know what they're talking about. That's true, it's true. Because it's never about you when you do this kind of stuff. So I just, I have an HDMI cable, I just need to be able to play. So where can we get a VGA cable? I have a VGA, I can hook up to the VGA, I just don't have cables. Um, okay. Always borrow, um, from Devin. Devin works on the Go. Yeah, if you can find us a serial cable. Hey, what's up, Abigail? How you doing? Yeah, this would be great. Yeah. Are you my face, sir? Other than that, we don't... Oh, yeah. It would be nice to have a laptop. Right. But Did you, uh, you get some donations? Yeah, I got a 40. Talking to people about issues about what's going on. You know, um, okay, and, call uh, him or text him. I don't I mean, know. I mean, I got my... And, and, and we got we, and all the things that go... A VGA cable. How do I ask him? Can he hook it up? Yeah, we just need a VGA cable. Do you know someone else that might have one, Diamond Aid? What? A VGA of cable to hook up a projector? Generally, to show up. They don't like. Why don't you show up? Didn't you? Didn't, didn't, wait, wait, wait. Oh, didn't what's his name got one that they would use his projector from upstairs? Who? Who did? I have to live by ethics. I'm talking about Josh. Uh, Josh, you don't know where, where do we get one of those cables, uh, man? I mean, you can try and get one through the AV department, yeah. but okay, generally, I'll, you, I'll call Devin. After. Yeah. I generally you like VG, reserve that in VG, advance and everything. VG, like VG. Reserve the cable separately from everything else. Okay. Yeah, because that goes through the AV department, whereas everything else is included in the room. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, um, if uh, if you they can, have it, I'll go get it. Yeah, I mean, so I'm sure they do. You could try and run over and get it from them. Uh, you know where the AV department is? Did I check everything before I left? It. What's that? In Powell Hall? What's no, that? in the exactly. library. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. I Okay, I'll uh, maybe actually spent the last two days like modern, developing my website because I wanted to make sure it was okay. up and running. Yeah. Well, look, all y'all having a nice conversation. Go and get, go and get some cables, yo. Like, let's make it happen. So you need a VGA cable. That's all we need. I usually do all these things extra anyway. Okay. I'm gonna go check right now. There you go. Here, I need to get going, but I can show you how to hook it up once you get the cable. It's really easy, right? You yeah. just plug it in? Yeah, you, you just plug it in. Yeah. How about bringing down this guy here? You've got your controls right here. Gotcha. All right. Well, we need to put that on the budget. Uh, HDMI hookup. Yeah. Seriously. We're going to try and get some more money out here. Uh, first, we got to get rid of the administrator and we'll get some more money out here. That seems to be the plan. This interim chancellor, mm -hmm. right? She's full of BS. She's out anyway in June, man. She's a total of or whenever it is, July. Right? And no, uh, they're doing this thing in Spain right now called the Scotch no, well, What they do is they camp out on the property of the 1%. Mm -hmm. And it works. works. Interesting. Right? I was Spain's got it going on. Yeah. You know, I was out there glad. <laughs> like, I hope you're watching, <laughs> dude. Right? You're a big inspiration. Uh, like priest, right? So what was your name? Yeah, Josh. Josh Murray. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that we got. Actually, there is a curriculum to be uh, developed in Spain, in Madrid. And uh, speaking of which, Vlad, make sure you email me that shit. Uh, that they've already developed. And if you look, uh, there's a website called citizenstreams.com, which also you're probably watching, thank you. Um, that has a list of live streamers on it around the world. And, you know, it's the most complete list, and other than like the actual companies. But uh, it was like amazing to see how many people have like new live streamers in Spain now. Like hundreds of people have signed up, like just in the last couple of months. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping to get going here in San Francisco. You know, because this is another hotbed of political activity, and San Francisco really needs more political activists desperately. Even though we already have a lot, we still need more. You know, because that thing that we did on Earth Day, even though it was you know the Monday, that was uh, 350. You know where we went to thing. We could have easily used 10 times that many people. Um, yeah. You know, try to get people motivated to do stuff is is really hard. It's almost impossible sometimes. That's why you have to be deliberately. Uh, sometimes I have to be deliberately provocative and pick fights with people just to get them to wake up. You know. Or well, you know. Uh, yeah, it's not a fun thing. It's not a fun thing to do either. To try and like be provocative with people and then like they totally react in a completely 180 degrees of what you intended it to be, right? Yeah, but you know, it's like I've had everybody call me every name in the book, accuse me of everything from being a police snitch to uh, committing like felonies or whatever, you know, and it's, you know, and basically the only thing you can really do about it is just acknowledge that person and the best way to deal with trolls is just to acknowledge a person and move on. You know, say, look, I know you're here. Uh, I don't want to argue with you, uh, but thanks for the attention. And I got into one argument just recently with the troll. Well, I can't really call him a troll. He's an anarchist and, and whatnot, but somebody was extraordinarily crit critical of me. And uh, what ended up happening was we got into this exchange on Twitter, and my cloud score went up like two points, <laughs> right? Which is, you know, I could care less about cloud, but, you know, it was just like as a measurement. It was kind of interesting to see that, you know, that how much it would affect your social media and the way you influence people. And it turned out that um, I was able to rally enough people to what my beliefs that uh, that they shut up finally. Hmm. And uh, now I have all the support that I didn't know existed before. And I was told that if I ever need a, like a, things like a bodyguard or I felt like I was in danger, just let them know. Yeah. And they'll help me out, you know, help, you know. And they were committed to nonviolence. Which is like the first thing. I never do political stuff with people that aren't committed to nonviolence. Because uh, it just endangers too many other people. And uh, it's not a good way of winning people to your cause when you're out there smashing windows and fighting with the police. You know, it doesn't attract people to the cause. And uh, the violence never really does. And uh, I mean, just look what happened. Look what's happening in Syria right now. It's just incredible. Syria also has a, a lot of live streamers. Matter of fact, the first live streamer to be killed in the line of duty was uh, a young live streamer in Syria. He was murdered by the uh, secret police there. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, as, as messed up as our police department is here in this country, and the fact that the FBI actually did coordinate a crackdown against Occupy, uh, uh, and even though the police here are capable of some really heinous things, uh, it's, it's very hard for the police to take you into custody without somebody knowing about it. Right? They just can't haul you in off the street. They got to, it's just, Immediately, right? And that's why it's good that the police for now, actually have For cameras. now, that's the case. For now. Right? Well, the CIA can pick you up at any time and take you away. Sure. You know, they do that with people all the time. But it's not on the level of it is, is, is in some places. I don't know if he's in it or not, but. Oh, yeah. That's it, that blue one right there. Make like no mistake it. about it. Oh, yeah, and really. unless that's Most a. Uh, on the planet. Is that a. Or, might be a. Uh, is it that? No, this is a USB there. cable. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, these are um, these are Ethernet cables, so not quite right. But thanks. So you need to put this here, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I gotta take these back up. Thanks. I told her I'll, I'll bring them back. If, if you have the capability of uh, of uh, watching the live stream, I also suggest that you refer to the website activiststream, a c t i v i s t r e a m dot com. Uh, on the website. Uh, you'll find a link for a lesson plan for the lecture today. Um, this is, uh, I want to write some of these down on the blackboard, or the whiteboard, okay. in a second. Uh, I'm missing the class. <coughs> we haven't really oh, started. We haven't yet. really started, yeah. I mean, we're still just sort of 
getting things going. You know, it's funny, speaking of Syria, I had a big argument with the guy. Did you see that? This exchange that I had when I posted that? Because I posted it right away when I found out that Israel bombed Syria. Yeah. Right? Even before Israel confirmed it, when they were just talking about that, you know, only Syria was saying it at that point. And I posted up something from, I think, RT or whatever, that like, oh, this is going down, or from Al Jazeera. And almost immediately I had a guy who I know, a friend of mine on Facebook, who was basically, he, we got into a pretty long and heated online debate about this, right? And eventually he, like, he, he, he went away for a while because another guy that was involved in the argument basically started laughing at him when he was like trying to, uh, you know, because the guy believes in the credibility of the United Nations to, you know, not... You know, he was talking about, oh, well, we could just intervene in chemical weapons and all this. And I said, you know, you're, you're totally missing the bigger picture here, man. Hey, so that was a little bit of uh, breaking down the fourth wall, huh? Yeah, the live stream looks beautiful. Great. I mean, it really does. I'm completely satisfied with the quality. Sweet. So, and yeah, as soon as we get the projector, we'll have it up on the big screen. Yeah. yeah. And that way people at home, you won't, have to re- you won't have to refer to after the stream. You can just look on the... Well, actually, to read it, it's not clear enough resolution, but uh, um, then also for the people that are watching, I'd like to let you know that uh, all these videos that I do and every video that I do gets posted uh, unedited, unless there's copyright notice, to uh, youtube.com slash user slash Freeman Sullivan. And uh, if you ever want to find anything about me, uh, which I really have nothing to hide, uh, it's Freeman Sullivan. Just Google it, and uh, you'll hit everything, just about. So, uh, mm-hmm. and I'm available on Facebook at Clark Sullivan. You can request, and I generally always keep space on my 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 uh, Facebook account for new people. And if I don't, I usually delete the people that I haven't contacted in a while. So, but don't trip. <laughs> uh, hashtag for this event is uh, activiststream.com or act, uh, activiststream. <laughs> so if you want to tweet it out or OCAM, and. Uh, We'll be started getting started here in a couple minutes, mm-hmm. since everybody gets back. And uh, if you're in the area and you'd like to come by, as always, you're always. Uh, we're here at MUB 140, uh, the mixed use building. Uh, right, it's the first building on the left when you come on the campus from the Phelan and Ocean Street side. Right, we're the uh, campus across Phelan. Most of the most of the campus is on the other side of Phelan. So. Yeah, we're we're on the side by the parking lot. Yeah. So and there's plenty of parking, and uh, it's accessible by all forms of mass transit here in the Bay Area. Um, just get up and bar at the uh, Balboa Park Station, and you can catch a K train right here. Yeah. Okay. So, so hopefully we'll have the cord pretty soon. Diamond Dave will be on the case. Oh, the cord? You're supposed to be on the cord? Yeah, that's what we're waiting on to get started. We're waiting on the VGA cable for um, the computer. Devin said he, you have to go to the AC room. Oh, yeah, um, so AV right. room. Yeah, right, Dave's on his way. Oh, I think what's the topic today? Uh, shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, man, I got in this argument with this guy, and he's like, oh, you know, what should we do? We should go and invade Syria. We don't really have a choice, you know, or the UN should. And, uh, you know, I told him, man, he's missing the, the whole point. I, you know, who, who, who paid for these weapons? You know, if there's chemical weapons, where did they come from? How involved were the warmongers in creating the conflict, you know? Syria like, most of their weapons from Russia. Is that right? Well, but where did Russia get their raw materials to make the weapons from. From Russia. You know, during the Vietnam War... Russia. <laughs> Russia is probably the most minerally... Uh, uh, they have more resources... The Vietnam resources. War would not have been possible without <laughs> the... Russians. With the... Uh, you know, because the U.S. was doing... Like, U.S. Steel was still doing business with Russia. Yeah, not, yeah of course, but Russia has got their own steel. Right, but that's where, I mean, you wouldn't have, they wouldn't have been able to produce all those weapons without it. Same thing in World War II. There was um, a special additive to the German fuel that was only available from our side. Our side. Yeah, I know. Right, you know, so, you know that, well, that's what I'm trying to get at, man. And, like, you know, this guy just didn't want to see that point, that, in fact, it's about the people who profit from the industry. You know, and it's been like that for hundreds of years. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're live streaming it. It's going out live on the internet. Oh, don't worry. <coughs> it is. Yeah. yeah. You can tell me where to go to watch if you want to look at it, you can watch it right now on Clark's computer. Yeah, got it going on right now. Who's presenting? Who's speaking? Um, I'm scared. I'm just ditched us. What? 
There's about a two second lag. Like Why would he have done that? Do you, you, that? <laughs> do you want to go chase him down? I have no idea where the AV office is. I guess I'll go. You know where it is? Yeah, we're going to be here. Uh, we're going to get ready to start your ride away. <laughs> How would that work? Just a minute. I'm waiting on a uh, cable so I can uh, use the projector. But, uh, yeah, I would suggest that you go to activeststream.com. And there'll be like some resources on there. Click on the lecture uh, plan, and uh, which I'm going to follow that oh, rather okay. Loosely. Which one do I go to from here? You can just go to activeststream.com. Oh, um. You stream, Matt? You stream? Yeah. You, are you trying to install the app now? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to watch it. Oh, if you want to watch it, you should go to uh, activeststream.com, which oh. is just a, like the website for. You know, this stuff. Okay, well, how do I install it then? I mean, oh, I'll for installing install it too? It. Okay, so. I'll just go install it. Um, you don't, you want to do is you want to do the site in the native app. And that should, yeah, now see, this should be the download thing here, right? For the, the ethical, that's what I want to spend so you more want, time on today. You want to try to considerations. download this one. Wait yeah, till so I don't know how well yeah. guys you versed or how well versed you guys are in coding and. IP, TC, TCP, IP protocols, and, and no, not, none of us are. Mm. But if you want instruction in that, I'd be, you know, like, we'll uh, have yeah, buy me dinner, and I'll be happy to, to explain it all to you. Because <laughs> my app is going to be released pretty soon. And one of the reasons um, I'm, uh, I'm get getting people involved, is more involved, well, is because the app, I need beta testers. Where's the? You know, how do you download it? Like, you're in the Google Play Store. Um, well, I think it might still be working. Yeah, just give it a second. And people, oh, there it uh, is. One of the resources here, and hopefully, oh, okay. this is going to be the first of many lectures about this. Maybe I'll bring it small. And what I'm hoping yeah. to do with yeah. it I is to still working. actually have people uh, uh, go down yeah. and get a press pass. Okay. And things like that. Get a press pass. Uh, 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 and and did he get it? I have yeah. right now, Sweet. So he's uh, gone his way with the cable. It's based to membership. So what you're I be watch able to post all your videos and all your live stream. Activiststream.com, uh, which is all one so word. So A C T I V I S T R E A M. Usual general internet rules like no hate speech, no personal <coughs> attacks, <coughs> stuff like that. But uh, the only re real requirement I have, other than that, is uh, that you have to live stream at least two hours a month. Activist right, and you have to stay active because uh, I don't want my servers to get overloaded. That's the only thing. And pretty much, if people really, really, uh, I find that's oh, really no, popular. No, no, uh, it's actually all scaling so it is is relatively like simple. Without the I've already ST. had that oh, as a consideration. Well. Yes. Um, yeah, after active S A C T I V I S T R E A. Well, that was part of the lecture. Active stream. Trying to get signatures. Yeah, sure. R E A M. R E A M. Right. Yeah. Really, stop yeah. 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 And that's what it's always to watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you can watch it there, yeah, no problem, because it's embedded um, on the site. If you need a live streamer to uh, cover your event, uh, uh, to download the app. So you should be area. downloading the app already. Uh, generally, right the only thing I ask is for like car fare and watch. Um, other than that, uh, if you're in another area, I could probably put you into contact with a live streamer in that area. So uh, do keep that under consideration. Uh, but I do highly recommend getting involved into live streaming. It's been one of the most exciting, fulfilling things that I've ever been able to do. Um, and I actually enjoy all the uh, negative things that go along with it as well. Although, you know, it's not like I actually enjoy it, but um, is that I'm a person who is constantly engaged in the process of learning. Uh, I spend uh, anywhere from two to eight hours a day learning, uh, constantly. Uh, generally, I really like my modus, modus operandi for learning nowadays is is that I like people when people come at me with problems, and that way uh, by the end of the day, uh, nine times out of ten, uh, I'll even if I don't know anything about what your problem is about, I will figure out a way to fix it and have a solution. So and that's something I'm really good at is providing solutions to people, uh, especially in the field of IT. Uh, and you can also come at me with any any questions you might have on political organizing. Uh, I have over 40 years worth of experience. In organizing. And I've been hugely successful in just about every organizing effort that I, that I put my effort into. We've got a question from at home. They would like to know the topic for today, please. Uh, we're just having a, it's just an open forum, a live streamers workshop. Um, if you would like to know the lesson plan or the topics that, that are going to be covered today, uh, I ask you to go to the site, activiststream.com, and it should be listed on the social stream on the chat. 
and uh, there's a list of things. And if you if you're out there and you're watching or via the viewers, because our, we have a lot of viewers out there, uh, 